If you grew up in the 70s, the early 70s, you're familiar with the television show The Brady Bunch. It was on TV all the time and was one of the most popular shows of its era. Now, when I look back on it, I I find it hard to watch this show nowadays uh, because it is pretty corny. But at the time, um, during the ABC's pro- programming of it, it was a super popular show and it was a popular show with me. I just find it a little bit hard to watch because it's so corny when you watch it nowadays. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's hard to believe some of the things that you find were so attractive in your childhood. And as you get older, they your view of them changes quite a bit. But anyway, everybody loved the show. The show aired from September 26, 1969 to March 8, 1974. Now, it went into syndication after it went off the air, and it can probably be seen almost every day somewhere on on the uh, dial. The cast included Robert Reed as Mike Brady, Florence Henderson as Carol Brady, Ann B. Davis as Alice Nelson, Maureen McCormick as Marcia Brady, Eve Plum as Jan Brady, Susan Olson as Cindy Brady, Barry Williams as Greg Brady, Christopher Knight as Peter Brady, and Mike Lookinland as Bobby Brady. Now, one of the recurring characters on the show is Sam Franklin. He's played by Alan Melvin, and a lot of people will recognize him uh, from Andy Griffith Show. He was in numerous episodes of the Andy Griffith Show. He was in Gomer Powell, USMC. He was a widely used character actor for that time. And he played Alice's boyfriend. Now, the episode that we're going to talk about today was called The Cincinnati Kids. Now, this episode aired on November 23rd, 1973. And it was in season five, and it was actually episode 11. Paramount Studios, which produced The Brady Bunch, was a major stockholder in Taft Broadcasting, which owned an amusement park called Kings Island in Cincinnati. Now, Paramount felt if they did an episode that involved that theme park, that it would help promote the park in the fact that it was only in its second season of being open. Another Paramount show, The Partridge Family, uh, had filmed at the park the previous year, but their scenes were basically confined to the King's Island Inn. The Brady Bunch episode would actually feature the whole park. In the episode, Mike has to present some plans for additions to the amusement park to the people in Cincinnati. He invites the whole family along. A mix-up occurs when Mike is left with a Yogi Bear poster while Jan takes Mike's plans, which she then loses on one of the many rides in the park. Now, the script called for a shot where the cast was to be filmed riding a roller coaster. During the shoot, the camera mounted at the front of the coaster looked unstable to Robert Reed, the actor who played the dad, Mike Brady. Now, he insisted to the producers that they make a test run of the roller coaster car to ensure that the cast was going to be safe. There was some pressure on the filming crew to do things on a first and second take because the actual amusement park was open and functioning at the time, and they were having to film in between the rides that people were actually paying to take. And there was becoming some animosity uh, of the amusement park goers because they felt like the crew was getting preferential treatment, which I'm sure they were. But the paying public was getting a little bit irritated about it. Now, Robert Reed's intuition proved to be right on. When they tested the coaster, the camera flew off its mount and back into the seating area. Now, this was a time when when the cameras were huge. Um, These were heavyweight cameras, 
and would have definitely devastated whoever they hit. If it had gone untested, the flying camera would have seriously harmed or possibly killed one of the cast members that it hit in the seats. Uh, several of the cast members revisited the amusement park in 2013 to celebrate King's Island's 40th anniversary. While most of the cast remembers this as being one of their favorite episodes to film, this was almost the one that could have spelled the demise for the famous TV family. Thank you so much for watching.